Hey Cancers, it's Ahara Stars with Illum Astrology doing your November 2019 general reading. Please keep in mind these are general. They will not resonate with all of you. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it does resonate. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. Also, please keep in mind because they're general, the timing will be different for all of you. And some of you might have already experienced it. Some of you could be experiencing it now. And some of you may in the near future. So they're actually kind of timeless. So you could feel free to go through any of my other readings to see if they resonate with your situation. All right. Spirit guides, please give me the most accurate messages for those born under the sun, moon, or rising of cancer for November 2019. All right, we got the four of air, Cancer. Some of you guys have been spending some time in your head thinking about stuff, taking a time out, perhaps even feeling tired. Cancer. Yeah. We got some hermit going on, but this is good. This is realizations, learning new things. Some of you guys are diving into stuff, trying to learn new subjects, trying to expand your horizons. Some of you definitely spent some or been feeling like maybe you want to spend time alone. Okay. You got the patience card, which means you may be having your patience tried. I definitely see that with the hermit and the four of air. Whoa, we got a card that just flew out here. Let's take a look and see what that is. We got the five of water. Let me put that here. Which is some regret some sadness, some sorrow, okay? Some of you have been really having your patience tried, and some of you maybe require some patience regarding a situation that you've been thinking heavily about, and it's caused you some grief. You definitely spent some time out of the situation. Now, for some of you, this could be revolving around money, give and take, how much you've been giving out, how much you've been taking, how much you've been getting back. Maybe a lot of you have been putting a lot out and not receiving much back. There's patience here that says that in due time, things are going to work out for you. Some of you have some regret or some sorrow about something. But I do see some money coming through for you guys, um, whether it's an investor or whether people are just going to be really generous with you when it comes to money. All right, some of you have some sadness or hurt regarding a love relationship or a partnership, and you're spending time alone trying to have patience regarding the situation, and it's definitely left you feeling sad, feeling alone, feeling regret, feeling something here. And it could have been as a lack of equal give and take. Cancer, November. All right, so you want to express your feelings to somebody here. You want to but you've been avoiding it or they've been avoiding it. They've been avoiding trying to express how they feel for you or you've been avoiding it or they're avoiding you. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, which I see here. Sun, moon, or rising, you have to know their birth time. But it's a good, it, it's a, there's love here. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of you are stuck regarding a love situation because you feel like You've had a lot of patience with regarding the situation. You've been thinking a lot about it. You've been uncovering things about it. You've been going through it in your head. A lot of the going through it in your head, spending time alone, um, withdrawing. Definitely sad. And somebody's been avoiding you or you've been avoiding them. Take 
a look and see what the heck is going on here. <laughs> um, can you tell me about this seven of air for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising? All right, here's your card, Cancer, but I also feel like some of you have been really trying to avoid or somebody's been trying to get away with something or avoid dealing with this, avoid dealing with their feelings, and now you're feeling like, you know what, I got to just take the initiative. It is a seven a card of relationship, partnership, marriage. Um, you want to take action, or they do. It could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces that I'm seeing here. That you just want to get a grip on the situation. You don't want to have anybody, nobody avoid anymore. You don't want to avoid, they don't want to avoid, or you don't want them to avoid you anymore. This is the trying to get away sneaky card, but it's also of avoidance. And it could also be like just trying to get away from, avoid confrontation, avoid having the conversation, avoid dealing with the situation, just sneaking away, just... For some of you, it could be somebody that was sneaky with you. But I feel like you want to get control of the situation. Can you tell me more about this chariot and the seven of swords? Yeah, it, it's, been, it's been a heartache. It's been hurting and upsetting you. It's definitely been hurting and... There's been some sort of somebody trying to get away with something or avoid something, avoid expressing their emotions that's kept you kind of caught in your head. Or this could be you caught in your head because you've been avoiding expressing your emotions and your feelings and it's causing you heartache. The only other person I see right now is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, another person that wants to express their or that loved you or you love them. But there's been a lack of give and take of equality or something. And there's a reason why you are disappointed here. Let's check out this five of water. There's a lot of in your head stuff going on here. And it's definitely regarding love because I see the love card there. Yeah, so somebody moved away from you or you moved away from them. They just got... You just got tired or exhausted with the situation and you just wanted calm. You just wanted, you just withdrew. Could be temporarily. Or they did this to you. Okay? And it's been causing you pain and grief and sorrow and sadness. And, and you're like, now, like, now what do I do? Tell me about the love for cancer. All right, well, there's a lot of communication messages back and forth regarding this. Somebody's been trying to communicate with you or you've been trying to communicate with them. And, and somehow it's leaving you feeling like this or them. Not like you're getting anywhere. It's like you're stuck and you're just like, what in the world? See all those birds just like, what is going on? Why can't I get through? Why is this not making sense? Why am I not understanding the situation? You know, but I feel like there's going to be some forward movement because the eight of fire is like somebody's coming in quick or messages are coming in quick. Yeah, and the ace of air on the love. So there is going to be a breakthrough. And maybe because of this, all this communication on this love that somebody you know, was trying to make, there's a breakthrough in the communication between you guys, okay? And a new start available. Can you tell me about this page of water?
All right, so this is seeing the big picture, thinking about the future, seeing a future. This Scorpio Cancer Pisces sees a future with you or you with them are looking into the future. And starting new, letting go of, of what happened, all the baggage of the past, letting go of that and just going footloose and fancy free into a new beginning and making it happen. This person could be very clever, very charismatic. We're getting the high priestess too and the magician. They're vague, they're very vague, very difficult to understand, mysterious. Maybe you just don't know what the heck's going on with this person, how they feel, but they apparently love you. They apparently have feelings for you and they wanna move things forward. But I can see this person being very complex, very charismatic, very capable of painting a picture however they want. But they want a commitment, a solid commitment, and maybe they're going through some sort of I feel like they're they're getting serious. Like they're starting to see things through a more mature perspective. Or this could be you, Cancer, because you guys could be the high priestess and the magician too. Very knowledgeable, very intuitional, you know, intuitive, very clever, very smart, very sensitive, you know. But I feel like this could be your partner, and it's like they want something serious, or you do with them. The hero fan is nothing but serious. It's about contracts. It's about seriousness. You put a lot of work into the situation or a lot of time has been invested. And you want the rewards of it. You don't want to invest all your time and not have it reward you, right? Yeah, and we got the four of fire. A long-term commitment, marriage, family, moving in together. Whoa, I'm knocking things over like crazy. Yeah, so I feel like the person that wants to come tell you how they feel or you them could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but they've been thinking about the future and they wanna just let go of their past and move forward, but this person is extremely confusing to you. Difficult to figure out, but very smart, very aware, very clever. They want something solid and they've put a, a lot of time, could be seven months, seven years, seven weeks, doesn't have to be, but this is also the card of engagement the seven of earth, but it's about taking your time, realizing quality, put wanting to, the rewards for your efforts put in the four of fire is a happy family marriage card, wedding card situation. I just went crazy on that page of cups to see what this love offer about. And it's pretty, pretty serious. Okay. And there's a breakthrough happening in their love department. So whatever the situation is that you've been spending in hermit mode, okay, maybe October this was like your situation, and now November you're kind of, it's all breaking free, it's all coming clear, it's all becoming, you know, but something's definitely been, there's been some heartache, and you want to get control. Somebody's been avoiding conversating about the situation, and now it's like breaking through, forward movement and somebody absolutely wants a long-term commitment with you this is marriage period right here this is this is marriage the hero and the four of fire okay but it could be just a serious commitment moving in together but somebody wants that with you and it could be any sign because no signs showed up except the page of cups which is actually a love offer so the way i see it it's a person of interest to you and it could be another Cancer Scorpio Pisces because that's what showed up there. But again, it's it's regarding love. So who do you love is what I would say this reading is for. Let's see what kind of oracle cards we have for you, Cancers. I just gotta say I love you, Cancer, so much. I have so many Cancer friends and they're the best. The very best. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. What are the messages or advice you have for the situation? Or what's happening here? Well, 
You guys got guardian angel. Those of you that are in touch with your guardian angel, you're being guided, okay, regarding the situation. Or call on your guardian angel to help you. But it looks pretty clear to me what's going on here. Um, if this person is good and you've just been having struggles, they want to come. They want to come back. We got gentleness, being gentle with each other, and you guys are. You guys are the sign of home and family and history and roots. Maybe it's the other person that needs to be gentle with you. Aww. Innocence. I love these cards. There's a beauty and an innocence in this relationship. Maybe even a gentleness, but yet an avoidance. Somebody may have intimacy issues or difficulty expressing themselves or opening up. I know sometimes cancers, you guys can be that way too. You're protective, you know, and it's hard to be vulnerable, especially as sensitive as you guys are because you guys are extremely um, sensitive to energy, to people. I mean, you need to, you guys are so psychic, so intuitive, so sensitive, you know, but nobody would ever guess in a million years you are, but this is sweet. This is a very sweet, innocent love coming through here. So, I think I'll just get one more. What, what else for Cancer? Sun and Rising. Playfulness. I love it. Always being playful. Have fun. Live a little. You know, don't think. take things so harshly so seriously have fun with it be playful enjoy your life have fun those are always nice cards i love this deck all right you guys well somebody loves you and wants the world with you but they're not telling you this and it looks like they're gonna if you walked away from them or if they walked away from you you may be feeling like this it could be vice versa you know where you stand with it um, I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm sending you lots of love. Big hugs to you all. Um, I am going to be doing a love reading also, which is going to be very specific because I use my animal uh, deck. And um, they go pretty deep. So maybe I'll catch your story. But if not, it may not be your story. You can check the ones before. Or I'm going to try to do them weekly or maybe biweekly. Um, and you can check and see if your story is there. All right, you guys, if you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my site at www.alumastrology.com. I do both astrology and tarot. They both go hand in hand together. Astrology can tell you more about the timelines, about the psychology, even about why you separated, what the breakup's about. Astrology is very deep in far, as far as clarity of stuff that can further into tarot. But otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.